Okay, it's not very often that I tell you this, Bestie, but this week was a bit of a disaster. I have overspent on groceries. Normally I say, don't catastrophize things, don't worry about it. If you've overspent by 20 pounds on groceries or $20, it's not the end of the world. Bestie, I've overspent by like 100 pounds plus. Like it is absolutely ridiculous what I've done. So Jake and I went to Costco for the first time and it's happened but i'm not going to beat myself up about it i am going to make a plan i can't let this slide i can't just say yeah that's an overspend take it out of the buffer because my buffer isn't for that like i mean i want to keep my buffer intact so it's the first week of the month because we're checking in for week one of june's budget bestie so i need to sort of rein it in a little bit so i have to do some bit of gymnastics with money with cash and you'll be there with me when i do it in today's video we are also finishing up the 100 envelope challenge if you are new here hi guys girls and online files welcome to budget with ira my name is ira and on this channel we talk about budgeting paying down debt and saving up for the life that you truly deserve if that sounds like something you'd like to watch please consider subscribing to the channel because we do have a lot of fun over here bestie we rally rally do so as i said in today's video we're going to be checking in for week one of june's budget there's so much to get done in today's video we've got a hundred envelope challenge to finish off we've got to figure out what i'm going to do with my massive overspend so really bestie let's get into it Okay, here we are. We're doing the first week of June, but that does include the first, well, the last four days of May are the start of June with my budget. We're going to be using expense tracker stickers to lay down all of our expenses for the 28th all the way up to the 3rd. So let's get cracking. Okay, so on the Sunday, we had a bit of an expedition. So Jake and I really wanted to go to Costco to see what it was like. And you'll see what happened there. But I put £20 in my tank for petrol because it was quite a long drive. I bought some car snacks, which was super cute. That was £11 on the nose. When we got to Costco, uh, we spent £17.99 on household items and we absolutely blew the budget. We spent £142.16. Now, I am going to have to reconcile that and sort it out, but we'll do that in a sec. The Monday was a no spend day. On the Tuesday, my car came out really early. Uh, it normally comes out on the 1st. And the 1st is a Thursday, so I suppose it doesn't really matter. But yeah, it came out um, there and it was 121.67. Then we had a no spend day on the Wednesday. So what I need to do now is move over to June's budget. Okay, so we're here. We need to do the first, second and third. Let's get cracking. The first is always a big day. So gas and electric came out, it was 180. Council tax also came out and it was 143. Much more than what they told me and what was I was expecting, which is really weird. TV license was 13.25 and rent was 550. I think I've got a couple of other bills that are supposed to come out on the first, but oh yeah, so the car came out early and the three internet came out a couple days later actually. So yeah, we're okay, we're okay. So anyway, Friday, what happened Friday? It was a no spend day, lovely. So the internet that was supposed to come out on the first came out on the third and it was 22.88. So the sort of deal I had was the first six months was 10 pound a month. Now it's 22.88, more than happy to pay that. I just uh, need to wait a couple more months to be able to get rid of my other internet. I also went to the co-op on the Saturday and spent £4.40, so that was my spending done. So normally what I would do is my check-in next, which I think I am gonna do actually. And then what we need to do is take another look at, where is it? This spend here, where we went to Costco and did 142.16. So uh, let's do that first and yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start by filling in everything that I know. Okay, so for spending, we rolled 16 last week. So we actually stuffed 14 pounds. I spent 15.40, which is more than what I had, but I had already rolled over 3.47 from the previous month. So we've got two pounds and seven to roll over. Now for groceries, we rolled over 10p from the previous month. 
we spent 61 pounds well we stuffed 61 pounds and then we spent 142.60 which obviously is way more than i have so uh we, we are going to deal with that next for sure i've currently got one pound 10 in my sort of cash envelope for it so let's take a look at that in a bit for petrol, we have electronically stuffed £100 and I spent 20 which leaves me with £80 and that's all electronic. Moving over to household, we gave ourselves £50 and we spent £17.99 and uh, that leaves me with £32.01 but I've currently only got £2.01 in my cash envelope because we spent some of it for groceries so I need to pay that back as well. So I'm not going to count this Costco trip as an unbudgeted spend uh, because I need to deal with it within the month. So, yeah. So anyway, well, last week we stuffed £225. I spent £195.55 uh, and I'm rolling over £115.18. Now, I know the maths don't make sense, but let's sort out this money. Okay, so we're here with my two binders. So what I just need to do is move over to the groceries envelope that I've got here. So let's figure out what we did. So basically I overspent um, by like 80 pounds um, in groceries, which is quite a lot. So I owe money out of this. So basically what I owe is 50 pounds. Uh, and that is what I ended up putting on my card um, from like to like cover the cost. So that needs to go back to bank. Um, it just has to go back to the bank. Uh, it just has to. And then I also owe 30 pounds because we've got 30 pounds from household so i need to put that back to the into the household so now it's back to where it was at 32 pounds one which is where it should be right so let's see how much i've actually got for the next four weeks of petrol so for the next four weeks i've got 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 80 90 200 so 200 yeah, that's basically fifty pounds a month, isn't uh, a week, isn't it? So it's four weeks, two hundred divided by four. I mean, I know this is easy math. So I just want to make sure. So fifty quid. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing fifty pounds a week now. Obviously, I've got <laughs> the saving challenge, which I'm still going to do. Um, but I've overspent far too much, and I know we're going to Costco again this week because we have to because we just have to. <laughs> but um. That's me reconciling the, the spend, like all the money's uh, moved back. It doesn't have to be counted as an unbudgeted spend as well. So yeah, there's that. The other thing I want to do is this spending here. Um, in here, I've got this pound coin here. And I want to do something really, really good with this. So let's do it. Okay, so I'm here with my 100 envelope challenge. I've just come off the Patreon exclusive cash stuffing. With my patrons, I do this once a month. So the money or a portion of the money that they give me every single month goes towards a cash stuffing and they help me decide where that money's gonna go. It's a super fun, engaging thing that we do. And uh, we have just cleared off like the last sort of three envelopes together. So as I said, we have something really special to do with a one pound. And here she is, and it's the last envelope of the 100 envelope challenge. And I've got this here, and we're gonna get this done together, Bestie. The patrons definitely wanted me to do it with them tonight. And I said no, and I did it for two reasons. So first of all, I think it's quite fun to do this on the uh, channel, but I started this 100 envelope challenge probably a year and a half to two years ago. Uh, it feels like longer, but I started it on a budget with Ira and so many of you who have been following me for a long time, who aren't in a financial position to be able to support me over on Patreon, I didn't want you to be excluded from what we're doing together. And I really, really mean that because we have been doing this for so long. So most of you 
Uh, and it's no shame if you've only just found me recently, but a lot of you have been with me every single step of the way. Like every single envelope I stuffed, you have watched and congratulated me and said well done and cheered me along the whole way. So I just want you to know that it's not just me doing this. It's all of us as a community. And, you know, we need to think about where I was as a person only two years ago. I was deep in debt, didn't know what I was going to do, was losing sleep about it. And look at me now, I'm debt free and I've just finished saving £5,050. And if that isn't something to be celebrated, I don't know what is. So if you are one of those people that look at other people completing milestones like this and say, oh, that could never be me. I could never do it. I want you to know that this was done while losing my job. This was done out of pounds and pennies. I never really had massive windfalls. I never had a video go viral, um, which gave me loads of money. I never made a ton of money and did massive envelopes. This was all done out of small amounts of money and look at it now. So if you're the type of person that only has a spare two, three, four pounds a week, you can do it. You can start with the small ones and consolidate up, yeah? It can be done. So please don't talk yourself down. Please don't tell yourself you can't do it because Bessie, if I can do it, you can do it. So by the time you are watching this, I have already unstuffed this. I unstuffed this live yesterday on my other channel, Don't Trust Ira. If you would like to see me do that, it is a long video. You can go ahead and catch up on that. However, I will be editing it down into a video on this channel for Friday. So if you'd rather see that, you absolutely can. So either way, I just want you to know that no matter what your goal is in life, whether it's financial, whether it's mental, whether it's a health goal, bestie, you can get this done. The only way you're going to get it done is through absolute grit and determination. But if you are strict with yourself, if you believe in yourself, you can get it done. And bestie, I believe in you. That's so exciting. I'm so excited. Anyway, hope to see you tomorrow. But anyway, where we are at now is I want to go have a look through my paycheck bill tracker, make sure I am in the right place. So first of all, rent did come out. It was £550 and car came out a couple days earlier, but the difference in price wasn't very much. It was £121.67. So not too much of a different price. Uh, TV license was £13.25. So a little bit left, less. 1325 council tax weirdly more don't get it after they told you how much it's going to be then all of a sudden it's just not weird and then gas and electric was 180 and the internet was 2288 so i need to make sure that i'm budgeting like well, 22.88 for it, basically. Um, and nothing else happened, so we are all looking good that way. So all we've got to really do now is cash stuff for next week. But before we do that, I want to deal with this in my 26 envelope challenge. This is in the front of my budget planner. It is in the new style one as well. So we're doing envelope number 18 today uh, because it's the highest one. So let's get this done. Okay, here we are with my binders. I've got my sinking fund binder, my savings challenge binder, and my everyday binder here. And we have all the money. So obviously the groceries money is depleted now, but we're still moving on. So it's 50 pounds a week now. I mean, yeah, we'll just have to do that. Is that even right? Yeah, I'm sure it's right. So 50 pounds. Um, and that's not gonna stop me from doing the wildcard challenge that's available on my Etsy store. So when you buy this challenge, you get this stunning suit of cards and it is an absolute beaut. When you take a look, it's got a full rainbow there. It's so, so nice. So on the back of this card here, you've got how to play. And essentially how I'm playing is I'm gonna be pulling a card every single week and whatever the card lands on, I will save. I'm counting ace as one, it's going all the way up to 10. Jack is 20, queen is 30 and king is 40. And I can do this four times in a year. I'm on my third way round and I've already done the biggest card, which is 
good because now we're on sort of like a lower than usual income for groceries. So let's see what we've got to do. So in the back are the cards that I have not yet pulled. I know there is a really high one in there and I'm hoping I don't pull it this week because I know we need groceries this week. So I'm gonna split the deck in roughly half. So do you know what? This one, this is the one I want. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so I'm sure there's a high card in there. Yeah, Jack, that's 20 in it. So it's a five. So if I take five out here and put five in there, that's good. So now we've got 45 for the week, which I think and I'm sure will be enough. So that's all good. So groceries is stuffed. What I wanna do now is skip petrol and move over to spending. Spending hasn't been touched yet. So we've got 30 pounds and I should have three weeks left there. So that should be 90. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. Perfect. So uh, we are good. But before we stuff that, we're also playing a, a different savings challenge. And this is the 1050 challenge that's available on my Etsy store. When you buy this challenge, you get a 20 sided dice. And what I'm doing is every week I'm rolling this and whatever the number lands on, I will save. As you can see, I'm rolled this many a time. So now I've only got a five left, an 11, a 14 and three 16. So to, to make sure I'm not rolling like a million times, I'm just gonna roll once and whatever is the closest number to it, I'll save. Um, I would like to only save a fiver this week, but let's see what happens. Seven, closest to seven is it's a five bestie. <laughs> okay, so once I've finished this challenge, I will be, there's no fives, hold on. So once I've finished this challenge, I'll be doing the 6K challenge um, that's available on my Etsy store right now. And if you'd like to see what that looks like, have a look at an older video where it's called I Have 6,000 Besties because we just celebrated a 6K milestone, which is absolutely wonderful. And I thank you so much if you are one of those 6,000 besties. But yeah, essentially, this is, oh no, wrong way. Essentially, we've got 25 pounds now and um, a really exciting week coming up. We're coming up to the end of so many challenges now. So yeah, thanks. Anyway, thank you so much for being here with me this week. I hope to see you next week, Bestie. Hi guys, gals and non-binary pals. Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. Please give this video some love. Make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. And if you are going to comment, please use this emoji. So yeah, this 100 envelope challenge is now done. So uh... <sighs> If you want to see me unstuff that in an edited version, wait for the video that's coming out on Friday. That's going to be an absolute beaut. I can't wait to just get that done. But if you'd like to see the full unedited video, I'm going to link it down in the description because I did that live on my other channel, Don't Trust Ira. If you aren't yet following Don't Trust Ira, please go ahead and do it. We do loads and loads of fun stuff. We pack my products, we make my products, and we unstuff the 100 envelope challenge together. So give that one a follow. You won't regret it, bestie. Talking of not regret, and stuff. Thank you so much to all the patrons and the channel members who support this channel in an unfathomable way. You are like the best thing in the world, truly. If you would like to join them and support me over on Patreon, please take a look at the link in the description. You will not regret it, bestie. So that is that for this week's check-in. Thank you so much for being here. Until next week, I would like you to have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week, and have a wonderful budget. Always remember, don't trust Ira. And bestie, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.